Hey guys, you have aspirations to move to Korea so that your Korean can be better. Good idea, but there are some problems and circumstances that could come up when trying to learn a language in another country or in that country. Some situations that come up. Now, 90 Day Korean did a guest post on my blog, P Fashion Ninja, called 10 Reasons Why It Can Be Difficult to Learn Korean in Korea. And a lot of these situations I have dealt with. So I wanted to share with you guys some of them and my personal things that have caused me problems when trying to learn and that got me off the right straight and narrow path of learning Korean. So the first thing that they outlined was number one, no clear goals, which I will say my first two years in Korea, I didn't really have any goals when learning Korean. You know, I had just moved there my first time overseas and I was just like, you know, I was only 23. I was like, oh my gosh, look at this life. <gasps> it's so wonderful. I did learn Korean by like putting stickies all over everything, like te television and the wall and the ceiling and the floor and like, like pencil, I was about to say Spanish, pencil and all these things to get as good as I could about on my own or at least learn the basics but I did not have a plan so I did not have a goal I did not have a clear no clear goal because I was just you know living my life in Korea I was just like you know I'm just living my life you know which leads to number two no plan or set path now because I didn't have a set path or plan I got distracted very easily especially in my first two years because I got friends who like love to go clubbing in Hong Day and it was like come on April I was like okay so I would be in Hong Day all weekend and then work on Monday to Friday and Friday night be back in Hong Day and just you know live my life just fabulous even though I did try to learn as much as I could I didn't have a clear goal and a set path so my Korean just got like a little choppy or it didn't get as good as it could have been but when I went back to Korea for the six months that I was there this year I did have a clear goal I said you know I'm learning Korean I'm getting better I'm going past level one to level two because I want to start this business that I know I need to be better in Korean I need to you know also learn these business skills so I had a set plan this time in the six months and with that plan my Korean increased tremendously so definitely have a set plan number three is studying everything and I mean everything like I would just especially when on the subway I try not to read the English underneath I just read the Korean or the newspaper if I saw it I would look at the headlines and try to translate every single thing everything around you let the world be your dictionary in Korea. Number four, failing to learn sentence fundamentals. Now, during those first two years, I had no sense of building a Korean sentence at all because I was just studying on my own. I took no classes, but after going to school, I now understand how important it is for sentences and how difficult. That's the number one difficult thing for me when learning Korean is sentence structure because it's so different than English. I mean, like the basic sentences, but you get to some like complicated stuff, baby. All my sentences are all jacked up so definitely have that as a focus for yourself is sentence structure because it's so difficult number five failing to learn korean in an everyday situation now this one i was really good at but when you're a foreigner and you try to speak korean they'll speak english back to you and i'm just like i'm trying to speak korean to you you know i'll be like samgyeopsal oh dear and they're like what 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 samgyeopsal oh dear what some gets out. Where is it? I'm dang it, I'm trying to be crazy you and it's real simple. How don't you understand me? He got frustrated. So sometimes I'll just be like, just go back to English. I'm like, okay, some gets out. Where is it? I'm like, oh my gosh, if I speak English, you will get it. And then when I speak Korean, you want to speak English. So it could be a little bit difficult when trying to speak Korean and they want to speak English back to you, but keep strong. Number six, being afraid to make mistakes. Now, when I barely knew any Korean, my Korean was really choppy. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use Korean all the time. And I would jack up a sentence in a second. But after I got better and I and my Korean grew tremendously, I was afraid to make mistakes because I was like, oh my gosh, I should know this. You know, I'm gonna say this complicated sentence. What if I get it wrong? I got a lot more self-conscious after I got better in Korean. It's hard to get confident in something when, you know, you don't have that inner confidence. So it's about surrounding yourself with people who encourage you and having a set plan and goals to help you get along. Number seven on the list of 10 ways it can be difficult to learn 
been learning Korean in Korea is by not choosing exciting content. Like, guys, K-pop will help you learn Korean tremendously because of Big Bang. I know Ice is autumn, autumn, autumn. Hold up, na 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 na. And because of G Dragon, and for a minute I know Michi Gacha Dong, Michi Gacha Dong, Michi Gacha Dong, eh, nigga Michi. Or I'm a Michi Go, no, I'm a Michi Go. I know Michi is always crazy, and I know no means today. And how about how to join you? Nissan got Boonia, Boonia. How to join you every day? Nissan got, I think, Boonia, Boonia. Only you, only you. So now I know how to join you. Nissan got Boonia, Boonia. I'm telling you, K-pop gonna you so much when learning Korean. And when Korean dramas, people say, oh, seeing it without subtitles, just hearing it helps them. But for me, absolutely not. It's actually best for me to watch Korean dramas with Korean subtitles because what I hear is different than what I read. So if I read this and I said, oh, they said that word, but it sounded like something else, it helps train you, train your uh, ears to recognize that word when someone speaks it. So try to watch Korean dramas with Korean subtitles. For me, that helps so much because I read Korean very well, but listening, it could be a little bit more difficult in those kind of shows. So definitely do that. Eight, having a system of accountability. So if you're not learning Korean right now and you say you're going to learn it at 10 a.m. every day, you need to not let yourself have a cookie or a shake. You have to stay on it. You have to basically be your own teacher, be your own tutor, especially if you don't have any classes. Say every day at 10 a.m. I must get up and study for an hour or I am not getting any bibimbap tonight. Chaps of duck. Nine. Not hanging with Korean speakers. Now, I will say living in Korea, this was one of the most difficult things I've had is to find a Korean who can actually help you learn Korean. Because a lot of times they are busy and I've heard that so much with uh, friends that is it's difficult to find a Korean who has time to help you learn Korean. You think in Korea you could just use it all the time, but getting one-on-one -on -one help could be a bit difficult unless you've just got a lot of Korean friends, which... I didn't have until actually the second time I went, I met, I started meeting a lot more Korean people through uh, some of my friends, especially like my married friends. They would introduce me to their friends and then those Korean people I became friends with. But for some reason, it was just more difficult for me to like find Korean girls basically that wanted to be friends with me who didn't want to try to like get me into their religion. Because I find a lot of them would come off me, come and find me on the street and it was like they wanted me to go to their church, wanted me like to convert to their religion. And I'm like, oh, I just want to be friends with you like you know it was it's been difficult for me like that but finding a Korean who wants to teach you or has time to teach you English because a lot of times they just want to learn English yeah that's one of the most difficult things you think it would be difficult but it is and number 10 not studying every day yes study 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 now for me sometimes I can't study every day but again having a clear set of goals and having a sort of accountability for what you do will help you Keep on track and study it every day and before you know it you will get so much better now we'll say the thing that helped me so much was to go to school and learn korean because i was able to get like a basis and like and like a platter of exactly how korean is supposed to be and it helped me tremendously so if you can at least take a class or get a private tutor because i felt like i could only get a, a certain point studying by myself because i'm not a korean person so i don't know exactly what to do afterwards and how to grow there so definitely get a teacher and going to school will help the best. I hope these 10 tips will help you in learning Korean and Korea. It is really awesome because you get to explore and just see all of Korea and just bask in the ambiance of Korea. But don't get off track. Have fun. Get your social life on in Korea because living in Korea is fabulous, baby. It's so much fun. There's always something to do, all right? So go to Korea and make sure you stay on track. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips or anything to add to this if you live in Korea or plan to and want to stay on track and learn Korean. Don't forget to subscribe to Pink Fashion Ninja. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram. Peace out.